legitimate. That's the topic for today's video. That's what we're gonna dive into. Before I start to get into all of that, please uh, subscribe to the channel, like this video if you like it, comment. I wanna hear your comments on the video. It really helps the channel, so thank you. Anyways, let's dive into this. Is breathwork legitimate? The short answer is yes, but we're gonna get into a little bit of a longer answer here, okay? So, breathwork is an umbrella term. It's like saying fitness. I do fitness. Well, fitness, like saying, is fitness legitimate? Well, what type of fitness are we talking about here? Are we talking about CrossFit, Soul Cycle, all this different stuff, right? So, breathwork is an umbrella term. It can mean a lot of different things. It could be box breathing. It could be four, seven, eight breathing. It could be breath of fire, all these different types of breath work. So if we're looking at the whole thing overall, yes, it's legitimate. There are tons and tons of scientific studies now out there on breath work. So you can go down that rabbit hole. I'm not gonna dive into the scientific studies because it'll bore me to death and bore you to death as well. There is one thing that's been out lately um, that's been circulating around with Andrew Huberman um, where he's talking about cyclical breathing. He did a study on cyclical breathing and what he discovered that it releases or uh, stress more than meditation does, which is massive because everyone thinks that the key to stress now is meditation, but breath work is actually a faster way to release your stress. Um, so cyclical breathing, let me just go over that real quick, is uh, one long breath in through the nose, then a short quick breath in through the nose, then a long exhale through the mouth. So let me show you what that is. So it looks like this. So when you do that inhale through the nose, you wanna do it down into the diaphragm here. So sometimes I'll even put my hand here for the first one to get it to wake up that diaphragm and to get myself breathing into it. A lot of people are breathing shallow and they don't even realize that they're breathing shallow. You have a breathing pattern for stress. You have a breathing pattern for anxiety, for depression. And a lot of times it's a shallow breathing pattern when you're feeling those things. I always say in my classes, you have a, a breath pattern for these emotions. And if you can change your breath when you're feeling stressed or depressed or anxious or whatever, you can actually shift out of the emotion. Change your breath, change the emotion, change your life. So we don't wanna breathe shallow, we wanna breathe deep down here into the diaphragm. So inhale through the nose, another one, and then exhale, boom. That's cyclical breathing. Do that a few times throughout the day and you'll feel your stress levels release. I've been doing it quite a bit lately. There was a technique that I was using during the shutdown when things were getting really difficult and it was three seconds in and a one second hold like this. Hold and then exhale like this. Cut the shit. <laughs> Just a little joke, I don't know. Got to have some fun, got to lighten it up in life. It's all too serious. Anyways, let's dive into the, the legitimacy of breath work. Um, I've been teaching breath work for over a decade and I have watched thousands of people change their lives through this breath work. I'm talking about circular breath work, conscious connected breathing. What is that? Two breaths in, one breath out, in and out through the mouth. It's a different type of breath work. Oh my God, I said breathing through the mouth. I read a book by James Nestor called Breathing. You're supposed to breathe through the nose. Oh my God, breathing through the mouth is so bad. A lot of people miss in that James Nestor book that he actually discovered breathwork through this powerful technique, through circular breathwork, through conscious connected breathing was such a powerful experience that it sent him down the rabbit hole of breathing. So a lot of people miss that. So what I say is yes, breathing through the nose 99% of the time is the best way to breathe but a little bit of mouth breathing, a little bit of conscious connected mouth breathing, a little bit of circular mouth breathing to clear out your stress, your anxiety, your generational trauma is totally worth it, okay? So don't start to, oh my God, don't ever breathe through the mouth. Yes, sometimes consciously breathing through the mouth is really good for you, okay? And it actually put me on my nose more. It made me more aware. It brought in breath awareness. A lot of people have no idea how they are breathing. So the first step in breath work is breath awareness, being aware of what, how you're breathing, um, when you're stressed, when you're anxious, when you're exercising, all these different things. So bringing in breath awareness is really the first step in breath work. So breath work legitimacy. Um, I have watched thousands of people change their lives through this breath work. It's undeniable to me. And 
I personally have changed my life. I did this conscious connected breathing, this circular breathing almost every day for an entire year and it really changed who I was. It, I, let me correct that. It didn't change who I was, it just brought out the best version of me, the version of me that is more free and happy and comfortable because it turned off my head in this really beautiful way. People, other people around me actually noticed the change in me right away. They were like, what are you doing? You're so much more present and happier and more loving and like, what's going on? What are you, are you medicated all of a sudden? And I had to tell them like, uh, I was kind of embarrassed because 10 years ago, breathwork wasn't this popular thing that it is today. That Wim Hof wasn't really out there and people weren't reading books on breathwork and all this kind of stuff. So I was like, oh, I'm doing this weird breathing technique. And I was a little embarrassed about it, to be honest. And they were like, well, what is it? You seem totally different. Like, show me, teach me. So I started taking clients and friends of mine through these breathwork sessions and watching the massive shifts that they would have. And the most common statement afterwards would be like, oh my God, that felt like 20 years of therapy without having to say a word. And so I knew this thing was powerful and I reluctantly started teaching people more and more. And I had never done a class before I started teaching breathwork classes. I had never taught classes. I'd done tons of one-on-one, -on -one, but when I did a breathwork class, that was the first class I had ever taught in my life. And people had this massive experience, including me. Like I went on a ride in the class watching people have this massive experience. That's why I tell all my breathwork students that teaching breathwork is gonna be the most fulfilling thing you ever do. It gives you such purpose and such fulfillment more than any other job, more than any other career that I've ever had. It's such a powerful experience. So the legitimacy of breath work is in, the proof is in the pudding, as I always say. You do it and find out for yourself. It's so crazy to me that, you know, people will have stress, anxiety, depression, all these different things, and they'll go to the doctor and the doctor will just prescribe them this medication. And that medication will have all these side effects, including rectal bleeding. And they'll be like, fine, I'm just doing that. But then when I tell them like, hey, why don't you try this breath work thing? And they're like, well, let me see the science on it. <laughs> like they're gonna take the medication, no questions asked, it's gonna cause rectal bleeding. But when it comes to breath work, when it comes to laying down and breathing this thousands of years old tool, they wanna see the science on it. And there's more and more science coming out all the time. You can go down that rabbit hole of the science that's out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to come and try a class with me. I do classes on Zoom every Sunday. And if you can't make that time, it's 9 a.m. Pacific time. If you can't make that, there's a 72 hour replay afterwards that you can come back and do the class. So I hope to see you in the class soon. Much love. Like, subscribe, follow, comment on the video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any other topics on breathwork you'd love to hear from me. Comment in the videos. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video.